Tornado is as nature's ultimate engines. Tornadoes are some of the most extreme weather events on Earth. They are rotating columns of air that extend from thunderstorms to the ground, often lasting only minutes, yet packing enough power to level towns. Toss cars like toys and strip bark from trees. What makes tornadoes so remarkable is not just their violence, but the scale of energy packed into such a narrow, twisting funnel. To understand the true scale of tornado power, we need to break down how strong they can get, how scientists measure their force, and how their destructive energy compares to other natural and human-made phenomena. The birth of tornado power. Tornadoes form inside severe thunderstorms called supercells. These storms feature a rotating updraft known as a mesocyclone. When wind shear, differences in wind speed and direction with height aligns just right, this rotation tightens and stretches downward toward the ground. As air rushes inward and upward, it spins faster, much like a figure skater pulling in their arms. The result is a funnel cloud that can become a tornado once it touches down. What's astonishing is how much power is concentrated in such a small space. A typical tornado may only be a few hundred meters across, Yet the winds inside can rival the speeds of a Category 5 hurricane concentrated into a narrow, intense vortex. Measuring tornado power, the Fujita and enhanced Fujita scales. Scientists measure tornado strength not by instruments inside the funnel, those would be destroyed instantly, but by examining the damage left behind. This led to the development of the Fujita scale in 1971, later updated to the enhanced Fujita, EF, Scale in 2007, EF0, winds of 65 to 85 nef, minor damage, shingles peeled from roofs, tree branches snapped. EF1, 86 to 110 nef, roofs stripped, mobile homes flipped, vehicles pushed off roads. EF2, 111 to 135 nef, houses lose roofs, large trees uprooted, cars lifted. EF3, 136 to 165 nef. Entire stories of homes destroyed, trains overturned, heavy cars thrown. EF4, 166 to 200 nef. Well-built homes leveled, cars hurled hundreds of yards, massive debris missiles. EF5, over 200 miles per hour. Entire neighborhoods erased, concrete foundations swept clean, steel reinforced buildings damaged, trees debarked. EF5 tornadoes represent the upper extreme of atmospheric violence, winds so strong they can rival some of the fastest trains and aircraft speeds. The energy equivalent of tornadoes, to put tornado power in perspective, consider this. A strong EF5 tornado can release energy equivalent to several nuclear bombs over its lifespan. However, unlike an explosion, this energy is spread across a moving, rotating vortex. Meteorologists estimate that large tornadoes can release 10 trillion joules of energy, roughly comparable to the energy needed to power the entire United States for a short period. Yet tornadoes are highly localized, which is why their destruction can look surgical, flattening one neighborhood while leaving another nearby untouched. Wind speeds and pressure drops. The deadliest aspect of a tornado is its wind speed. While hurricanes stretch across hundreds of miles with sustained winds, Tornadoes concentrate incredible force into narrow paths. Radar measurements have confirmed wind speeds exceeding 300 miles per hour in the most violent tornadoes. Tornadoes also create sudden pressure drops. In extreme cases, pressure inside a tornado can be 100 millibars lower than outside. This rapid change can shatter windows and cause structures to fail, adding to the destructive force of wind and flying debris. Tornado size and scale. Tornadoes vary enormously in size. Some are rope tornadoes, narrow and twisting, only a few dozen yards across. Others are massive wedges, more than a mile wide. The largest tornado ever recorded was the 2013 El Reno, Oklahoma tornado, which grew to 2.6 miles wide, wider than Manhattan. Within that colossal vortex, wind speeds were estimated at over 200 and 95 miles per hour. The scale of such a storm defies imagination, a rotating cylinder of air wider than entire cities, grinding across the landscape. Tornado longevity and path length. Most tornadoes last only minutes, traveling short distances, but the most powerful ones can endure for hours and carve paths over 100 miles long. 
One of the most extraordinary examples was the tri-state tornado of 1925, which tore across Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana for over three and a half hours, leaving a trail nearly 219 miles long. It killed 695 people, the deadliest tornado in U.S. history. The Quad State Tornado of December 2021 carved a path over 165 miles, flattening towns in Kentucky and proving that long-track tornadoes remain a modern threat. Tornado destruction compared to other natural forces. To understand tornado power, it helps to compare them with other forces of nature. Hurricane. Hurricanes release far more total energy, but their force is spread out over hundreds of miles. Tornadoes concentrate similar wind speeds into narrow corridors, making their local destruction more extreme. Earthquakes. Quakes shake the ground across vast regions, while tornadoes destroy selectively, yet with wind speeds faster than many earthquake-induced landslides. Volcanoes. Eruptions release far greater energy, but again, Tornadoes are unmatched in their sheer wind force on the surface of Earth's atmosphere. What sets tornadoes apart is their ability to unleash such violent forces in small, localized areas, making them among the most unpredictable and destructive phenomena on the planet. The power of flying debris. Often, it's not just the wind itself, but what the wind turns into weapons. In EF4 and EF5 tornadoes, debris can become deadly missiles. Chunks of wood are driven into walls like spears. Vehicles weighing thousands of pounds are tossed into the air and thrown across neighborhoods. Even steel beams have been bent or displaced. In some cases, straw has been found embedded into tree trunks, demonstrating the sheer velocity with which debris can travel. This secondary effect magnifies tornado power, turning everyday objects into lethal projectiles. Tornadoes and human perception of power. For survivors, the scale of tornado power is almost incomprehensible. Entire homes vanish, neighborhoods are flattened, and familiar landmarks are erased in seconds. The psychological impact is as real as the physical destruction. Researchers studying post-tornado recovery note that survivors often describe the sound as a freight train or jet engine. The roar of winds at 200 miles per hour combined with the crash of debris creates an overwhelming sensory assault. For many, this experience defines their understanding of tornado power more vividly than any scientific measurement. Scientific efforts to quantify tornado power. Because tornadoes are so destructive, scientists face challenges in directly measuring their energy. Instruments are rarely placed directly inside a funnel. Instead, researchers use Doppler radar on wheels, drones, and computer models to estimate wind speeds and energy. Projects like Vortex, Verification of the origins of rotation in tornadoes experiment have advanced understanding of tornado dynamics, helping improve forecasts. Yet much about tornado power remains mysterious, especially at the smallest scales inside the vortex. Future risks and preparedness. As climate patterns shift, some studies suggest that tornado activity is migrating eastward in the U.S. into more populated regions like the Southeast. This raises concerns because areas with higher population density face greater risks when powerful tornadoes strike. Preparedness becomes essential. Early warning systems, sturdy construction, and public awareness help reduce fatalities. Yet even with preparation, the sheer scale of tornado power ensures that these storms will remain among the most feared natural disasters. The core understanding of tornado power. When we talk about tornadoes, we're not just describing funnels of wind. We're describing rotating engines of the atmosphere, concentrating unimaginable energy into narrow paths. Their winds surpass 300 miles per hour, their widths span miles, their tracks stretch across states, and their ability to erase entire communities demonstrates power on a human scale that rivals any other force of nature. The true scale of tornado power is measured not only in scientific data, but in the landscapes reshaped the cities rebuilt, and the lives forever changed in their wake.